Any vehicle with alignment adjustment points front and rear requires four-wheel alignment. In this program, we'll illustrate the order in which the wheels should normally be corrected and why. Once the initial setup and measurements are complete, adjust the rear wheels to specifications first. Correction of the rear wheels at this time is vital to an accurate four-wheel alignment. To understand why, let's look at front wheel alignment. When measuring any front wheel angle, you begin by placing the front wheels straight ahead, even for a caster steer. You start from straight ahead, and you end at straight ahead. The straight ahead reference used for front measurements is thrust line. Thrust line is the direction the rear wheels are pointed. Consequently, thrust line must be established first for accurate measurement and final adjustment of front wheel geometry. Complete the rear wheel alignment by correcting camber on each side if adjustable. Then set toe on each side. As toe is adjusted, thrust line changes too. Once toe is at spec on each side, thrust line will be parallel with the geometric center line. To finish, align the front wheels to specifications. As a general rule of thumb, adjust camber first, then caster if it is adjustable, and finally, toe and center steering.